Hey, I'm Gene Goldman. Today is Monday, January 16th. Here's a look at the week ahead. Today's a holiday. Enjoy your day off. Anyways, this week, we are watching three trends in terms of economic and market data. First of all, number one, we get some economic data points. Tuesday, we get the January Empire State Manufacturing. Uh, this is a regional small survey, but it's so important because it's the first look at this month's economy. Also, it's one of the first early looks in terms of where the economy may be headed. For example, you see on this chart here, the red arrow shows the Empire State Manufacturing Index dropping dramatically right before the COVID recession in 2020. We also on Wednesday get PPI and retail sales. Don't expect too many surprises. PPI should continue to show disinflation and retail sales should continue to show a softening of the economy, as you see here in this red arrow. Second of all, Earnings season continues. Last week, we saw earnings season started. Um, it was very disappointing in the fact that banks, while their earnings were better than expected, loan loss provisions were higher than expected. This is basically a sign that bank presidents are worried about the economic scenario going forward. Third of all, the most important thing we get next, this week is just a week of central bank news. The Fed, lots of speeches. The Fed's blackout period before their February 1st meeting starts this Saturday. So lots of Fed speeches. Similarly, the ECB, the European Central Bank, is headed into its blackout period before its February 2nd meeting. Lots of big speeches this week. For example, the ECB President Lagarde speaks early Thursday morning. With the markets expecting the Fed to raise rates by one quarter of one percent, but the ECB is expected to raise rates by half a percent, it's interesting that the ECB is much more hawkish than the Fed. We'll see how this plays out. Also this week, the Bank of Japan meets in the middle of this week. Expect more information about their failed December announcement of yield curve control, where it was basically this big attempt to tighten monetary policy. It kind of went nowhere. Anyways, our overall takeaway this week, markets are watching economic data for confirmation of trends. What will be the impact on corporate earnings and what are central banks thinking? So let's hope for very few surprises. Thank you for listening. Please, for more information, please follow us on Satara IM on Twitter. Thank you and see you next week.